Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with Warp Fire Minis, and today we're going to talk about five tools I think every Age of Sigmar player should use to help them win more games. The first tool we're going to talk about is your phone. And not for play it on, don't talk on your phone, anything like that, but to take pictures of your games. And this one is just the most important. I think looking back at the pictures of your games is going to help you learn what went wrong, what went right, and help you make adjustments easier than any other tool that you could use. So what I'll do is at the end of deployment, I'll take a big picture of the whole battlefield. I want to be able to see what I did and what my opponent did. And the state of the game right now, a lot of games, like you can just straight lose the game on deployment alone. And then I'll try to take a picture of like round one after it happened, round two after it happened. And looking back at just those first couple of rounds, you can just learn a ton from your own games that you're playing. So that's something you guys definitely need to be doing. Next up, you need to have tokens. And this is for any of the spells you cast, any effects uh, for Finest Hour, Mystic Shield. So for me, like for Skaven, I've got little Death Frenzy tokens. I've got Mystic Shield tokens. I've got Flaming Weapon tokens. And it's to help yourself remember that, hey, this is, this is on this guy. And... A lot of times you're going to be playing the games and you're going to just forget that you did it. You're going to take a bunch of attacks and roll your saves and you had Mystic Shield the whole time and you didn't give yourself that plus one to save. And on the same tip, it's also going to help your opponent. Um, you don't want to win games because your opponent forgot you had Death Frenzy or, oh no, I, I didn't know you had Flaming Weapon on that guy. I thought it was on that guy. So it just helps make everything crystal clear for you and your opponent. And by helping yourself remember all of the effects that you do have, it's going to help you have a more effective battle and win more games. Number three, this one's a website called AOS Stats Hammer. And this is just one of my favorite things to do. It's very fun. It's a website you can go on and type in your unit's attack profiles. So you can type in like Plague Sensor Bears. They do four attacks each. They hit on threes, wound on threes, rend one, two damage. And it'll show you the average damage output into the different saves. So it'll show you like you're going to do 10 into a 2-up and 14 into a 3-up. And it just works its way down. And this is just an incredibly useful tool that you should do for every single unit in your army. Um, knowing what your units are capable of to an exact science is just so, so good. Like I can know that if they've got a squad of 3 Varengard into a 3-up save, I'm going to do X amount. And if they all at defense, that's going to take them to a 2-up and I'm going to do this amount. And of course, it's a dice game, so you're not always going to get that average. But just knowing the average gives you that idea of, hey, this is something I can do, and this is something I, it's just not going to happen for me. Then you can also type in other effects, like if they have an ethereal save, you're playing into Night Haunt or a Zombie Dragon. You can click that button, and it will change all the damage output. So you can just have a good idea of what you can do to, to every unit in the game. And looking at those averages, again, just... The dice part of it is a factor. So if I know I do 20 damage on average and I'm going into a squad of 20 clan rats, even though that's the average, I can't expect to kill that squad. Like you want to do like I do 29 or 30 damage on average, I can comfortably go into this 20 wound unit and pick it up. And so definitely do that. Type in all your units. It's a lot of fun just to see like this unit costs 100 points and it can do X amount. And so you get to see kind of the points efficiency of different units. It's something you definitely want to do. Number four is you want to have a few different measuring tools with you. So something like a three inch combat gauge or a nine inch ruler. And then definitely the biggest one is the objective markers. Just knowing exactly where the objective is just makes a huge difference in your games. Like I, I can't even imagine playing a game without them now that I've had them. Just you can measure and see exactly, okay, my unit's going to be able to make it on. I'm going to have exactly this many models on. My opponent has exactly this many models on. And it just takes away any sort of doubt or arguments or questions about who's controlling the objective. You just clearly see this is who has it. So that's just very important. You don't want there to be any kind of bad feels in your games. The objective markers just completely take that away. Then for the gauges, just having a three inch gauge, like I know I can move to exactly outside of three of your unit and it just helps make everything faster. In tournament play, you don't want time to be an issue for you. So three inch gauges, the nine inch ones, if you do a bunch of deep striking, just you can put down like three or four different nine inch rulers to make sure that, hey, my deep strike unit can go here. And that's a lot easier than putting it down and then using your tape and measuring out just 
we want to save as much time as we can to make sure we finish those games. Then number five, last but not least, is you want to make sure you have some sort of tool to help you keep track of the points scored during the battle and what battle tactics your opponent and yourself achieved. And that's just to remove any kind of arguments or, hey, like you scored Magical Dominance turn one. No, I didn't. Like, you don't want there to be any doubt. And so every round you're playing, like round one, your opponent says Magical Dominance, you write it down. You could be in a notebook or a boogie board writing tablet thing. Just you want to make sure that this is clearly put out where you and your opponent can both see that, hey, like I'm keeping a clear track of this game. I've had plenty of games turn out where like, okay, what's the final score? And they're over there and they're looking through. Well, I think I have 25 points. And it's like, man, that's not good enough. Like we need to have a crystal clear account of you have 25, I have 26. We don't want there to be a question about who won the game. Then there's also this new app that came out called Tabletop Battles, and it is just excellent. Um, you can go through each round as you're playing the game. You type in like what battle tactic you chose. You can even keep track of like how many command points were spent, who went first in the battle round. And then on top of that, it also keeps track of cool things like your win percentages over time. It, it saves all the games into like a little database. And so you can see like, oh man, I've played 15 games into Beast of Chaos and I've got a 65% win rate against them. And maybe into Gargants, oh man, I've only, I'm only winning 20% of my game. So it gives you a cool idea of, hey, maybe I need to practice this matchup more. Or look into my list. Maybe I need to address this and build this out a different way. And it's free. So it's one, if you like using your phone with apps, like that's probably the best way to go. But if not, like definitely have a notebook, have something to write down and just write down those scores and battle tactics each game. And that's it. So if you take those five tools and start using them every game you play, you're definitely going to start winning more games. And number one, take those pictures. Like I'll, I'll harp on that one again. If you take pictures of your games and you look back at them, it's definitely going to help you. Then if you ever need any models, check us out at warfireminis.com. Thank you.